Hello everyone, here is the episode that aired last night. This episode focuses on Saran, Sang Chol, and Jaehun, and the Jung who only appears at the end. At first, Sang Chol refuses Yo Han's request to report the Jung missing to the police because he believes that the Jung has gone to find her own happiness. Since Yo Han is not a member of the Jung's family, he cannot report the Jung missing to the police. Therefore, he searched for the Jung without police assistance. In the episode, Saran and Aja trick Bobe so that Aja can return to live in Bobe Chang under the condition that she doesn't cheat Bobe again. Saran is relieved by Aja's present because she always support her in Bobe Chang. Saran's next plan is to take the Jung's laptop. She asks Sang Chol to retrieve it from the Jung's house, which makes Sang Chol suspicious of Saran's intentions. However, Saran denies any wrongdoing and explains that she wants to prevent the police from finding any incriminating evidence on the Jung's laptop. She believes that having the laptop will protect her from being imprisoned. However, in this scene, someone finds the Jung's bag on the side of the road with Doxu's keychain still on it. As far as I remember, Saran took the bag, so it seems she carelessly discarded the evidence on the side of the road. After Sang Jol successfully retrieves the Jung's laptop, Saran continues her plan to make Ji Hoon nervous so that he has no choice but to confront her. Despite thinking that the Jung will never bother her again, Saran is disturbed by dreams of the Jung. Towards the end of this episode, Johan asks his secretary to quickly find the last location of the Jung's cell phone so that he can go there immediately. However, by nightfall, Johan has not received any information from Secretary Jiang. His worry leads him to dream about the Jung, who reassures him that she is fine and asks him not to follow her because she is going alone. This dream wakes Johan up, and at the same time, Secretary Jiang provides him with the last location of the Jung cell phone. Johan rushes to the location and luckily encounters two men who know that the Jung is in the swamp at the hospital. When he arrives at the hospital, Johan finally meets the Jung, who is sitting in a wheelchair. Okay everyone, that's the storyline for this time and thank you for watching my video.